Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I've done several videos on the zipper effect, and I just made one last night, and somebody watched it, and they asked, how would you do a square and get it even was his question. Well, underneath of the shadow flyout is your distort. Go up here to zipper, go over to preset, and hit stamp. This is what he's talking about. Both sides are not equal. Okay? And you can change that depth by doing this. But what he was saying is this has two sharp points, this has two non points. Well, he almost answered his own question. He, he actually asked me, how do you make it even on both sides? Well, the question isn't really how he makes it even. How do you make it odd? you got to have an odd amount when you have so many spaces. And then you can change your frequency to get them higher or lower. But you need an odd number. Like if we go to 12, I get the point back. If I go to 13, I get that back. Now, like I did last night, take it and convert it to a curve. Then take the shape tool and select them all. Actually go up here and convert to a curve, but then you get the smooth node and you get that wave. So just like we did last night with a two point line, and this is pretty cool to use this zipper effect and stamp. And somebody, he asked us also asked me, why well, don't use the zipper effect? Cause that's what you get when you use the zipper effect. If you use the stamp effect, you get that. And that's what I was looking for last night. We're going to put a little rise on that. We can actually select it all, right click. Well, it's just easier to take the shape tool and select it. We'll actually take the pick tool, go up to object and convert it to a curve or control Q. Then take the shape tool, select all your nodes, go up here and convert really the, the segments to a curve and then hit smooth nodes. There's really no other way that you could draw that so perfectly smooth. Anyway, I hope that answered this question. Thank you.